So I don't want to do anything. Okay, perfect. Yeah. So now, now, now check this out, right? We go like this. We drain. Get to heal a little bit back up. So we get to heal a little bit back up. We go body bear and we heal a lot back up. And also have body bear in the field, right? There can be no ice and just like that, we're back to 20 HP thanks to the shotgun. Because this is a skill. And not only that, but if we get the Clash of Titans, we're going to be able to have it pretty cheap now. We also and have to say Terman here again. And today we're going into a little bit of meme territory. We're going to play some Anivia Bolivar with Deluge, with Wilson Huntsman, with the Shaken Dancer, and nothing else but the Clash of Giants. So this is a pretty, pretty fun Bilgewater Ferlio deck that I've seen around. Uh, uh, you guys saw it yesterday. In yesterday's video, our last opponent was going to play in this list. So I kind of copied their list. I was like, how can I adjust this a little bit? For the most part, I just really changed a couple of cards, right? But the whole idea with this deck is using this new card, right? The Shackon Dancer, which makes it so that all your skills drain. And what that means, your Anivia and your Bolivar, when you summon Bolivar or when you attack with Anivia, those counts as drains. So you're able to just drain a ton of damage and heal back up if necessary. Add to that the Deluge to make your Anivia Bolivar skills and every other elemental spell that you have do more damage. And you end up with some very fun situations with this deck list. Um, a fun fact, the last time we had an Anivia deck in the channel, was in May of 2022. It's been two years since I last showcased an Anivia deck. So yeah, here we go, right? We have to find a meme fun deck to kind of bring back the Anivia into the channel. So hope you all enjoyed the games coming soon. If you do, make sure to like the video below and subscribe to us. We post card game videos every single day. If you stick around to the end of the video, we'll do a mulligan, mulligan tips and in the breakdown on the deck. So enjoy the games. In this match, we're going against Jax and Owen. Uh, we do play very nice, and we also play Harsh Winds, which is nice. The Ramp, the Luge, Avalanche can clear a lot of units. I'm going to kick the Ice Shard. I think I'm just going to rely on the Avalanche and hope that we get something else. Shotgun Dancer is not bad. Yeah, so the opponent, opponent gets the plan. Okay, so do they also have the Jats? They might just have the Jats. If they have the Jats right away, then they have the Jats. This will still kill it with the Deluge, right? Because it will deal three. Tidal Invocation is better than the Ice Shard, so that's good. You have it. It wasn't a Jats. It was a Snow Doggy instead. It was a Snow Doggy. We have the Harshmans for later. Okay. Do we ever deluge here into Avalanche next time? What did we do? What did we do? Why did we just set up for this deluge into Avalanche into Tidal Invocation? I will tell yeah, you. okay, so yeah, we'll, we'll just go Avalanche right here, just kill everything. Slow them down a bit. That way, opponent misses on one forge from the apprentice. And they don't have the snow dog anymore. Uh, I could just go. Okay, so the opponent's actually gonna save the snow doggy. Instead of saving the apprentice, which is interesting to me. We probably wanna ramp at this point to uh, our body bear. Yeah, like at this point, I probably do need to ramp to our body bear. Especially because we have the Shackram with it. Double title invocation can kill one of these units. If the opponent doesn't pick something that gives them health, we can also kill this guy. Yeah, so the opponent got greedy, so they didn't pick health. So we'll go like this, and we'll just ramp. They go Troll Shan. So I guess we'll go for the second one. Sure. Now we have a four powered unit that can block your units. Yeah, I mean, sure. So now we have this four powered tentacle that can block everything except for a forge into here. 
But if the opponent does that, then I'll just go for the dancer. Okay, so they went for it. So we're just gonna block and Okay, well if you give this if you give this to me instead, then I'm gonna go like this. Um I really need to ramp. I really need to ramp. So I think we just go for the ramp here and just save harshness for next turn. Okay, so opponent's going for draw here. So we can save. We can go Chakran Dancer and Harsh Winds next turn. And settle for a body bear. So Chakran Dancer and Harsh Winds and settle for a body bear to heal us up. Um. What is gonna get a lot of value with this burn? Chakran Dancer here. We have to block, right? We have to block certain things. At this point, the, the reason that I like the Chakran Dancer is because it helps me heal up, right? With the Bali Bear. And we can still have Harsh Wings for later. But then the Bali, the Orn is going to level up here. So it is going to be annoying. If we go here, we can go Deluge and Tidal Invocation. And the Tidal Invocation can help me trade. Which might actually be better. So let's go like this. Let's go Deluge and Tidal I, I need to pick the Tidal Invocation first. And I guess we'll just grab the Deluge second. Expand your mind. So the Tidal Invocation on the Khaki Mirage builds it and buffs this one up, right? So that we go like this. And that way we trade with both units. Then we go Deluge, and yeah, the opponent here to level up their their own here, but we still have this Bolivar as a blocker, and we'll have Harshman's available. Yes! Yes! Yeah, so the opponent is down to, to just three cards in their hand. We'll go Deluge again, we'll go Bolivar. Bolivar's Deluge is gonna push like six damage. Like each one of these is dealing six, right? So it's not like the Orn can even block this body there. Yeah, we'll go like this. Do not need followers. Followers need yeah. gods. Idiots. Four to the Nexus, six to every unit. And uh That's still not enough. You need one more. He's dealing six to it. They have the troll chain. Okay, so they they, they want to put the equipment on it, but again, that's where the harsh winds comes into clutch. Because the harsh winds will be able to keep me alive, regardless of what the opponent. I guess the harsh winds in combination. I'm just gonna attack. If I attack, I'm gonna lose some damage. But the body bear is gonna level up. Like I'm gonna lose some health, right? But the body bear levels up. We still have harsh winds. Opponent has to go ahead and put this part of pain somewhere. We can freeze, freeze, and block, right? And we'll be okay. And then Bolivar leveled up means that we kill their units. So I think we're good. I think we're good. Nice. Could be nicer. Yeah. So I think I think we're good. We can just harsh wins. We can just harsh wins. The Orn and the uh, Ram. And yeah, we are chilling. Cool. You're all in trouble now. We only take in two damage. So we're only taking two damage here, and we can heal up with the Shackram Dancer on top of that. Yeah, so we can just heal up here. Get ourselves back to eight. And uh, yeah, Bolivar just wins the game next turn. I guess the opponent gets to heal up, huh? We can get a harsh wins with this Houseman again, by the way. Yeah, so we can get a harsh wins with the Houseman, which is nice. Opponent's gonna have to block. Mm. 
So the, if I play Anivia, the concern is the is the concern is the opponent finding. Um, yeah, like they're gonna have to block Bolivar, which means that they lose their own anyways. If I go Anivia, the concern is the opponent. If the opponent is playing very nice, they could find it, right? But this heals me back up to 20 because each one of these, like, literally is healing me back up to 20. Uh, opponent should have, I guess blocking doesn't matter, right? Because we have Overwhelm on it. But yeah, like, look how much damage I healed though with this Chakra and a Bali Bear. And he also went work with Anivia. I am concerned about a Berry and Ice, so again, that's why I didn't do anything. Um, here we can just go Shotgun Dancer. I guess it's only dealing three, right? So I guess we'll go here instead. Go Deluge. Go Harsh Winds. And we don't have to use this Harsh Winds right now. It's just going to stay in our hand. So no matter what the opponent draws, we know the Harsh Winds is going to happen. And we're going to be able to win the game. So, GG. In this match, we're going to get Mila and Jen. We have a lot of AoE spells that can deal with their units. We have the Deluge as well. And the Ramp. We don't see Avalanche, though. Hmm. Am I greeting out this Deluge too much in this matchup? Nah! Let's do it. Let's do it. We're here for fun, right? We're here for fun. You, we're here for fun. Okay? We'll just ramp, ramp, Deluge, and hope that we get, like, a... There we go. We got something like this, right? That can blow up the opponent's board. Yeah, we'll just ramp, ramp. Opponent doesn't really have a lot of things that can deal with this damage. Okay, we get the avalanche anyways. Yeah, we get the avalanche anyways. Uh, you know what? I, I might deluge next turn. I might deluge next turn because if the opponent develops on their next attack, it means that avalanche will kill them. So if we deluge here, we'll have five mana next turn. Yeah, let's just go ahead and do it now. This is probably one of the few chances that we'll have to actually use this delish. So this is not even three, right? So the opponent literally cannot develop anything. They just have to attack with Nila. They just literally have to attack with Nila. Yeah, they have to attack with Nila. They actually develop. So we'll just go Avalanche and kill them both. They got to nab something from me. That's cool. Interesting. They're playing, they're playing the Yoda Grifter. Now he has he, he did, it is slowing me down a lot that we're doing this because now we're not ramping to Bolivar. And Bolivar is just gonna blow up everything that the opponent has. So we're gonna go here and we'll have the Winds of the Craft Phoenix next turn, or we can just ramp again, or go Shack and Dancer, or do whatever we want. Safety. Another nap, okay. So the opponent just took two of my cards. A lot of my cards. I guess Harsh Winds is kind of annoying. Slide of hand. Okay. You take the ramp. Take the ramp, please. Yeah, they took the ramp. That's cool with me. I and mean, they can use it to ramp up if they want to. So this is dealing four, which means that this can actually kill a Janna now. The eye shot lets me kill something at fast speed. Uh, we can ramp into Chakran Dancer and be able to Bolivar next turn. And we're going to be able to drain. Oshlesh's power is mine to command. I think we just take this. I think we just ramp here and just go for Bolivar with the Shaken Dancer next turn. So I want the opponent to tap out of stuff. I'm still concerned that they have like removal. So I don't want to do anything. Okay, perfect. Yeah. So now, now, now check this out, right? We go like this. We drain. Get to heal a little bit back up. So we get to heal a little bit back up. We go body bear and we heal a lot back up. And also have body bear in the field, right? There can be no ice and just like that, we're back to 20 HP thanks to the Shackman. Because this is a skill. And not only that, but if we get the Clash of Titans, we're going to be able to have it pretty cheap now. We also have access to the Bolivar Stormbringer. We also get to 10 next time, so the Wings of the Cloud Affinity is also healing me. And, uh, yeah. This second Dancer should make it really hard for the opponent to really kill us anytime soon. Now, they do have two cards from us that we don't know about, that they nab from the bottom. Um, 
I guess it could be their own clash. Could be very nice. There's a lot of options here, but they have to deal with this body bear. Yeah, they have to deal with this body bear. If they just take 10 here, I'm completely happy with this. They just took 10. They go for the only luge. This only works on elemental skills, by the way, right? It doesn't work on their mystic shots, but they do have access to the other card. The the yeah, uh, I again, I, I don't think I have to worry about anything here. We just play the mysticism, have this big overwhelm. Okay, so they sent that back and they got it right back with the Nidana, huh? Oh no! The opponent went for a freaking rest. What am I ever gonna do, guys? What am I ever going to do? Um, honestly, let's go mysticism first. And then we'll go coins to the craft in its next time. Okay. I guess opponent could go ahead and grab my coins to the craft in its here. Oh, they grab the ice shard. The ice shard does two damage to everything. That's cool. But it deals two damage to their own nexus as well, right? Which is their problem. Uh, yeah. I mean, again, we just go win to the crowd for it, and opponent has to have, find another wound vets. Imagine if this was an elemental skill, by the way. That would be so dope. Let them savor uh, we could also get a Nivea. A Nivea into win to the crowd finish would be really nice. The yeah, opponent's just nabbing our cars. Okay. That's cool. So we're playing against our own deck. Which has its benefits and disadvantages. Storm unrelenting. Hmm. Hmm. If we go win to the craft finits, this will go down to seven. Which is not enough for me to play it. So I think we just go for it. Yeah, I think we just go for it and see what we get. Cool. Nothing crazy. Yeah, this is the very nice that we talked about, but again. They're gonna have to find they're gonna have to deal with this body right now, and they're also gonna have to find more more answers. So like they can push six this damage here. It's just body bear, right? It's just body bear, clear the whole board. Yeah, we just go like this. I guess I've needed to be safe, right? Because the opponent could have the burn here now. Opponent could technically have the burn to kill us from 13. This is getting two. Yeah. So I guess I should have been a little bit safer, but I, I'm not. I'm not worried at all. Opponent's playing like a really janky nap, and I guess obviously slot bot type of thing. Yeah. So they get to deal three here. They get to deal three. They get to deal two. And, uh, we'll just attack. So they will need to find eight more points of damage to be able to kill us. Archwins. Okay, so they stole our Archwins as well. These Bollywoods are going to level up. We can go win to the crowd Phoenix. They still need to find another way to kill another unit. Second. Okay, so they have they have both our harsh wins. All right. Yeah. So we'll go win to the crowd Phoenix just to uh, heal ourselves up. Make sure that we're not like dying. Yeah. So we'll go like this. Just heal our nexus by three. And then we'll probably play a Nevia to be honest. I guess. Let's. If we play a Nevia and the opponent has. I know the very nice. I think I'm fine with that. Yeah. Let's go a Nevia. If they have another very nice, I think I'm fine with that because we can play Hellsman and just get value from whatever elemental stuff we have. Let us turn this tundra yeah, so they found double harsh wins, they found our very nice, they found all our reactive stuff. Title invocation. Hellsman. Yeah, so again, I'm not concerned here at all. Tide Dancer, that's cute. That's very cute. Yeah, so this can kill that. This can kill the Nila. All right. Sure. I'm cool with this. 
So, very nice. Divine Whirlwind, okay. And then what? You're gonna go Ice Shard? Yeah, I, I, I don't have to do anything. I can just wait. Oh, Pony just wanted to hit my Nexus, I guess. Uh, do I still need to go and kind of worry about potentially dying? Maybe. Maybe we just go... Belushi is kind of cute. We just go here. This is also kind of cute, by the way. Yeah, sure. We'll grab it. I was looking for the Winds of the Craft Phoenix. Yeah, I was looking for the Winds of the Craft Phoenix, and we didn't get it. So now I actually I'm in risk of dying to the burn. So we'll go like this. We'll go clash for one. See what we get. Okay. We have spell shield overwhelm. So this is seven. Yeah, so we'll just go like this. We almost filled up the stack. Three sits. We actually should have played title invocation, by the way, to fill up the stack. Opponent just opponent's just nabbing us, right? Opponent's just nabbing us, thinking that's gonna be enough. Yeah, if we filled up the stack, it could have been enough. We could have gone title invocation on our own unit to try to fill up the stack with the body bird rank this push. And that would have like guaranteed that we would have lost. So it was a little bit iffy there. I could have definitely made it sure that I did better than that, but still. We use a casual minus seven picks. In this match, we're going against Morgana and Elder Dragon, which means that we're playing against Citria, right? We're playing against Citria here, and it means I want to just ramp. I think I want to just ramp. Very nice is good. Deluge, less good. We don't get the ramp cards, which is going to be a little bit annoying. Hmm. Yeah, this is gonna be annoying, huh? So we don't have the ramp. We do have this berry. Okay, we get the ramp. So the berry nice is good because it lets us kind of buy ourselves one turn when the opponent goes for their citrus stuff. Uh, we are gonna take quite a bit of damage here with this brawl window. I, I still think it's correct to go ramp first, deluge second, right? So I think we go ramp first. Deluge later, right? We can just wait for the Deluge after we have a ton of mana. This is gonna be seven damage, I guess. Hmm. I guess it's not nice right now. Yeah, this is not nice. We go to ten. Sure. Yeah, we're just ramping. I mean, this Winds of the Craft Phoenix is pretty nice. Nothing that I have costs more than more uh, less than three, right? So we'll go like this. We'll have this avalanche that can actually kill two of their units and the Aisha to follow up with after. Yeah, so we'll just go like this for now. Next time we can go wins to the crowd finish to kill anything else that the opponent summons. I guess the opponent's gonna try to save their unit here. They can go for the uh yeah, they can go for the health spell, like the strike, right? By the way, at this point, this body bear is kinda crazy. The opponent does push seven here. If they open attack. If we go Ice Shard, we're only saving one damage. But if the opponent has a way to save this, we will be losing way too much damage. So. I think we go here. And just go Body Bear. And just rely on this Wings of Cryo Phoenix later to buy us time. Opponent potentially is going to have Cloud Drake here. Oh, no. Okay, so we just get to pick KO everything, right? Oh, they got the Deathless. Yeah, that's unfortunate. I was going to say, we get to KO everything, but the opponent did get the Deathless, so that's really annoying. Um, So they're, going, they're trying to cheat out things here. All right, so this helps, because that way we can actually kill this Ursine. We get to kill all three. We go to go title invocation, try to kill that Ursine before anything else happens. This Asha still puts me at one, which is super scary. Uh, yeah, okay, so they go for Gentleman's Duel to get this to be discounted. We need to go Title Invocation and then Very Nice, right? Uh, title Invocation also gives me a blocker if the, if the opponent plays a second Morgana here. Or if the opponent plays this. 
So now we can go like this. The opponent still gets four of this sigils, which is kind of annoying. Arika is very annoying, but not impossible for us to deal with. Um, we have 12, so we could go very nice in Night Shark. Right? Point has another heat show. We have to go for it. Right? There's no other option. So, because the opponent has another heat show, we have to go for it. We have to go like this. Into very nice. Into Clash of Giants, I guess. This gives me Bolivar back, by the way. Yeah, so we'll go into the Clash of Giants and hope that we get something that we can get value from. Um, yeah, we just we just slap it. We just slap it. Hope that we get enough units to actually punish the opponent. The rally, that's cute. That would have been nice if I did it after, I guess. If I knew I was going to hit the rally. But both of these are lethal. Opponent will need to have a second Arika. So the opponent needs to have a second Arika here. To actually get us there. Or a Matron. If they have a second Matron, that also will be enough. That also is enough. Because it keeps them at 17. So it's just enough to keep them alive. Ridiculous. It's just enough to keep them alive. Unfortunately. So, we have to attack and just put them into lethal range. And hope that we get the eye shot to tie this game. So, our only win condition now is to tie the game. So, our only win condition is to tie the game here because the opponent had the Elder Dragon. So, it's going to be eye shot or bust. There we go. Tie game. <laughs> yeah. Eye shot or bust, like I said, right? Yeah. GG's, my friend. GG's. GG's. <laughs> yeah, I'd rather take a tie game than a loss, right? I'd rather take a tie game than a loss, and that lets me do that. So, it, there, there was only two, there was only one, like, two ways that the opponent survived there. Elder Dragon, healing them two, or Arika gave me one of my units. And they have the Elder Dragon, so they get to survive, so GG's. I guess Spectrum Atron also helps them survive, but yeah. In this match, we're going against Elise Aggro. I'm assuming it's Aggro. It could also be like a control deck or something, right? Um, I like the Ice Shard and the Winds of the Craft Pinnets together with the Ramp. So if we assume that this is Aggro, this will let us kind of deal with their aggressive strategy. If it's something else other than Aggro, then it's still going to be a little bit messy. So we can Ramp. Okay, Avalanche is also really good, right? So Avalanche is amazing here. Um, yeah, there you go. So it is aggro. So again, the Aisha lets me just get rid of their units. If they play Elise here. If they play Elise, we might have to just... Um, okay, it's not an Elise. The question is, do I need to do I need to avalanche next turn? Do I need to avalanche next turn, or can I afford to ramp? It's a lot of damage. I guess since we have double ice shard, we can now ramp because the double ice shard is gonna KO most of the stuff, kill most of the stuff that they play. We'll have five plus two, which is seven, so we can go avalanche and ice shard. If the opponent just open attacks here, the double ice shard saves me a lot more damage than anything else. And then we'll have a Nivea. I would like to keep this ice shard though. If I can go avalanche here, this would be amazing. Yep, and that's the game. So that should be the game right here, right? This avalanche is like, you lose the game here. You're an aggro deck, and you just get hit with an avalanche that clear all six of your units. Just quit. <laughs> You'll squid while you're ahead. Not even ahead, right? <laughs> Jeez. They have a third house spider. 
So they, they have the third house spider. So I guess we'll just go Anivia and just push kill the spiderling. Yeah, we'll just play Anivia here. And like the opponent unfortunately just ended up a pretty bad matchup for them because this is just way too much stuff. Yeah, we get to kill the spiderling and set up the other one to die to ice shot. I guess if I don't attack, they can't develop, right? Maybe that's actually better. Because we know that we can always kill this with ice shot. Okay, they just they actually just went for it. Right, so we'll just go here. Set it up so that we can kill the other ones with the ice shard. The ice shard is pushing one damage to us. Which is kind of annoying. Uh, eventually, we probably could, we need to go for this Winds of the Crowd Phoenix to heal up. Because the Asher is dealing damage to us. So we'll be at 9. Yeah, you just, you Phantom Block. You Phantom Block. You always Phantom Block. Mm. Oh, if I could get to 10, this would be nice. Oh, the opponent actually decided to block with the Doom Beast. Interesting. Interesting. Yeah, if I could get to if I could get to ten, this wings healing me up would be really good. Really, really good. Um Winter's Touch gets me to eight right here, and then we'll be at nine. And then we'll be at ten on the opponent's net attack, I guess. We don't even have like the problem is that we don't even have like a Bolly Bear to really punish the opponent next turn. So, okay, so still losing to Ice Shar. So, still losing to Ice Shar. They have another Spire, I guess, right? We can just relax for now. What is your game plan, opponent? We beat Fervor. Okay, yeah, so we just go Ice Shot here and just get rid of the Fervor. I take one damage, but I save three. Two, two. Um, let's Winter's Touch here. We still have another Ice Shard. And we also have the Anivia. Right? So we can just block with the Anivia if necessary. Yeah, I'm gonna just block with the Anivia. She's, she's, she's back to 2 health, right? So she's not going to die to Aisha. Uh, I'm surprised that the opponent just committed that Fervor like that and didn't just attack first. Ooh. Wait. I can do it. Yeah, let's just do it. Let's just do it. Win condition clash. Oh, boy. Okay, yeah. This is uh, 8 plus, five, uh, plus 13. That's gonna, yeah, that's enough for lethal. That's actually enough for Lethal, even with the Decimate. Because this gets the power of that? Yeah, that's 26. Wait, what, what did I count here? Why did he get 13? Oh, because he, he counts itself. He counts itself, yeah. So that's 13 right there to just win us the game, so GG's. Hey everyone, welcome back. Hope you enjoyed those games of Anivia Bolivar. Uh, as much as, as, as far as this deck is, it's not very good, guys. It's not very good. It's just it just takes so long to really set up your your stuff, right? The deluge having to pay five mana for a deluge at five five mana do nothing can be really rough, right? An opponent can easily kind of play around the things that you that you're trying to set up, uh, and obviously they just need to get rid of the shotgun dancer to make it so that your skills cannot drain, which can also be a little bit of a problem, right? Uh, but sometimes you get like the nuts, right? Sometimes you get the nuts and you're able to just like ramp up. Play your Shakran Dancer, play your Anivia or Bolivar, play your Hellsman, and just get like a ton of value uh, against the opponent's units and against the opponent's deck. So, so that's what this deck can do. Um, in terms of Mulligan, it is at the end of the day still a ramp deck. So I am still looking for Winter's Touch and Wild Mysticism. If I already have those, then maybe I'll decide to keep like a Deluge. Right? Although a lot of times I like keeping Deluge anyways, because at this point we're just playing for fun, right? We're not playing to like win a tournament in Winterra. Those don't exist anymore. So we're just playing for fun. So if we're playing for fun, 
play the deluge play the deluge and have your fun with your shotgun dancer and everything else that you might that you might get value of right uh so that's kind of like the mulligan tips here in terms of game plan you want to run first before you go you go for the deluge of course if you have nothing else you can just deluge on turn three but if you have the ramp ramp first start getting that extra mana and then deluge and then go shack and dancer and then go anavia or Bolly bear and especially Bolly bear ends up being so good because he literally is going to be dealing five damage to all the opponent's units which kind of clears almost everything that the opponent plays right so that's kind of what you want to do with the Bolly bear um, and set it up that way you have a lot of aoe to kind of let you buy time until you get to that win condition the clash of giants is more like an alternate win condition if like you're still in the game long enough and you can play this for six mana then you can use this and then maybe even play for zero mana later with the helmsman right so kind of it's not your main win condition but it's kind of like a second win condition you're kind of just going to set up with the ramp then transition to your champions plus the dancers and then late 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 into the game potentially have that clash of giants or something else so that is the game plan here with this deck so hope you enjoyed today's games more of this meme deck here if you did make sure to like the below and subscribe to us we post card game videos every single day you can also join our channel and become a member we have two tiers gladiators and champions each one of the different perks check that out in the description below or on the join button as the subscription button you can also find us on twitch at twitch at every now and then and also on discord and twitter the links to those are all in the description below. Thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you all again tomorrow.